bet you can't stick it. You're on. Trash Pandalorian back for another video with you. I know it's been a while. I apologize. Um, so I was diving into this hidden Xperia video, and it's the uh, 343 Industries is dead video from two weeks ago. I haven't had a chance to get to this yet. I've been wanting to react to this. I haven't watched it. Well, I'm about a minute 41 in right now, and it's a reaction to some event about 343 and all this nonsense. I had no idea what this video was. I didn't click on it because I was saving it for you guys. But the gist is Unreal Engine 5, 343 is very excited here. I'll let you see him freak out about it. Well, I can do better than that. Let's oh. just roll. British. Here we go. Wait, wait, he's gonna get real excited in a second. Oh, So, about that for me, I don't really give a shit about the graphics getting better or anything like that when we haven't nailed a story in over a decade. Everything 343's put out has had dog shit story. And I don't really get on the mechanics side of things. I know people want to argue about sprint versus no sprint. I think Halo needs good characters and a good story to actually be relevant. More so than all of the other nitty gritty. You can argue all day about mechanics and all that stuff. But, when Halo's stories were good... The fan base was there. The stories suck now. They're shit. And it's undisputed at this point. And something I wanted to make a video on a while ago before 343 decided that they were going to rebrand themselves and give themselves a new name to throw off the scent that they suck is um, for the longest time during 343's tenure, it was like not okay to shit on 343. You just weren't allowed to talk shit about them. Everybody online that's a fan of their stuff would just you know, dogpile you. And not a whole lot of people from my generation, like we don't live on Twitter and we don't get in these arguments because we got better shit to do. But then we start trying to expose our kids to, you know, Halo and we're like, oh, hey, the new stuff sucks. Why is that? So we go back, play them. And then we make like a two hour review on why Halo 4 was dog shit. Anyways, the point I'm going to get at here is I think the reason that it's okay to shit on 343 now, which uh, now is like I don't know, four, six months ago, it all of a sudden became okay was because the TV, shake, the TV show came out and it was terrible, obviously. Anybody who has half a brain cell knew that Halo season one was terrible. Season two was arguably worse. Now you could, it's a toss up. They're pretty terrible. After watching them all and talking about every single episode, I can tell you easily that hey, season two was far worse. But that's besides the point. Uh, there's not really anywhere for... Or, there's not really anywhere for 343 defenders to hide anymore. They're, they've had failure after failure after failure. All three games in their trilogy are, have been dog shit and huge failures financially and rel for relevancy or all of that stuff. There's just nowhere to hide anymore. So then 343 Industries or Microsoft decide to go, okay, we'll get rid of somebody. We'll throw this LGBTQ person at the head of our new studios and we'll call it Halo Studios because 343 is obviously not doing so hot. So let's just keep the whole company the exact same, rebrand it, slap a new fucking sticker on it and send it to you guys. And then you got people over here going, 343 Industries is dead. The future of Halo is revealed. And I mean, I used to like a lot of Hidden Xperia's content and stuff, but I have no idea how He's acting super positive about this. I am not... Why, why be excited about this? 343's done nothing but give us dog shit game after dog shit game. I don't care if it's on Unreal Engine 5. Let's keep going. I'll just roll the video. Video? Alright, let's video? see this shit. Oh my god. Oh, it's Just one, Mark. This is Casey Root, take one, Mark. I was told that I can just be my authentic self, Chris. You remember when Halo used to have ads and it would it would shoot it like this, but they were people in character, like former Marines that fought with Chief at one point. Or they were like ODST. Do you remember those? God, the commercials were so cool. Like there was so much more production and creativity and just 
authenticity in the trailers for video games than we get for anything now. The video games themselves and the TV shows we get for these things suck balls compared to those ads. Those ads were, those ads were tight. <laughs> There's so much to do and so much fun to be had when you play Halo that I feel like I never run out of things to do. I love it used to be that way. Stories that take place across lots of different worlds, have lots of different needs. Me too. So do we. You guys have like less than 2,000 people playing. At the beginning, what is the legacy of yeah, look. What's the soul that we want to bring forward? And what's the craft of making all the legacy games? games. And how do we set our studio up best to go deliver on that? Oh, Halo 2 poster. In order to take us into the future. When I first heard about Halo moving on your engine, my first Make a change. This is going to be a really hard secret to keep. Fans are going to be excited about the future of Halo because of the possibility of supporting us by using Unreal. Before, we really... We have Unreal. Look at the graphics. And his, his um, excitement is kind of driving me crazy. We had to split our focus in thinking about building an engine, supporting it, being really kind of a tech company and a studio at the same time. Since we've made the change what about your to writing team? to Huey, we can bring Halo forward in ways that people have never seen before while still being true to what Halo is. I can't believe it really that you Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm hoping that if this is all about Unreal, I'm sorry. This video is fucking. This video is gonna be shit. I just don't care about this. He said, "Hey, there's this thing called Project Foundry that I want to do." Let's Project Foundry. What is Project Foundry? Is based around the same concept of the Foundry in Halo lore. It's the place where Halo rings. Oh my God! Oh. And yeah, it looks good. It's not a game. It's a research project for our studio. Okay. So we can prepare ourselves for the next steps of making Halo games. Brother, what? Yes, yeah. It looks really fucking good. If it's an empty ass story, it's gonna fail again. Okay, this is interesting. The direction that 343 has just gone down has just been shit since the beginning. Okay, that, this might be something to get excited about. I know he fucking loves the flood. I love the flood. That'll be. And that's what he needs to do again. Still. See? God damn it. Hold on, hold on. I was trying to pause it. That's what Halo was when it first was released, and that's what Halo needs to be again. Okay, so. I hope this goes. I don't know if this will go away. I think the Elite looks good. You can't, you know, they look lean. They don't look like the Halo 5. Big ass brute elite hybrid, like an elite fucked a brute and came out with this monstrosity that Halo 5 was. And Chief looks fine, but unless this is a prequel, see, the reason this doesn't make sense, I'm gonna bring you up here for a second. The reason that this doesn't make any sense is because he's in Mark V armor. But why does he have the the little 117 there? Because they're obsessed with the fucking number. Tell you that that's why that's the reason it's there but it doesn't make any sense because if he's wearing mark, mark five mark five is worse than mark six obviously so why would they take him back to mark five unless they were like oh we're just trying to give you the look the look i mean is this supposed to be like listen i'm not caught up on a lot i'm trying to catch up now there's a lot of videos i want to react to that i'm saving so i can talk about it so, I know I'm behind the ball, but I'm going to get there because now I can start reacting to these videos and we'll get caught up on the news. If this is going to be like a Halo 1 remake and Unreal Engine 5, I'm already fucking out. There's something beautiful about Halo 1's graphics. And you know, the cool thing about that is uh, my daughter, when I've mentioned her playing the games before, uh, when we play on the Master Chief Collection and we go through Halo 1, she wants to play on the original graphics. And I ask her why, and she just says that she, it looks better. I, she doesn't know why. I couldn't tell you why she thinks that, but she thinks that it looks better. And I'm like, yeah, because there's something special about those original graphics, man. I don't care about you trying to leech off of Halo 1 and all of its glory over 20 years ago because you can't fucking make anything good on your own and just slap some amazing graphics on there. And why why have the 117 on his stupid chest? I'm so tired of it. Oh, we, we want 117 on everything. See... Everything about this is 343 is still 343. They just don't call themselves that anymore. 
Hey guys, my name's Pandalorian Trash now. My old content was shit, but I'm gonna start making good content. Well, fuck, my content's amazing, so who can I talk to about this? Um, Cosmonaut Variety Hour. My content used to be shit, so we have a new, we have a new channel. We're gonna call it Variety Hour Cosmonaut. It's, it's just, it's stupid. It's dumb. I'm gonna rewind this so you can watch. Look at this guy. He's so happy. I'm not trying to take that from him. I'm not trying to take it from him. Oh, it is Halo 1. But he shouldn't have that 117 on his chest, and you should know that, Mr. Lore Expert. We took the entire creative team and we ideated on three locations something old, something new, and something really alien. We had the Pacific Northwest, which is sort of traditional Halo. It's all going to be about graphics, isn't it? Dude, this isn't exciting. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. I replay Halo 2 all the time because I love the story, okay? Yeah, they're they seem to vanish because all of it's fucking stupid. Oh my god. I wanted to give our team the opportunity to really express an alien world, a really alien world. It's all graphics, dude. Okay, let's just keep going. I'm sorry, I've had this episode. This video is gonna suck balls. I'm sorry, I thought they were gonna talk about oh what's this? Oh my god. Wait, what the hell is this? <sighs> yeah. Halo Studios. Yeah. What the? It's it's literally just says 343 but different. Three. Oh, 343 there? Sorry. Sufficient body chills that have been uh, in effect for sure. I'm sure in the whole of this room going crazy. Bro? Like, I want to be excited about this, but there's really nothing to get excited about. Unless they give us a really good fucking game. Is this a rebrand? Is this a rebrand? Yeah. It's a fucking paint job. It's a paint job. Uh, Jesus Christ. Dude, look at him. Look at how happy he's acting about this. This, this means nothing. Yeah, there have been few studios who have I like the music though. It's a good music choice. You hear that? Three, four, three. It's not a anymore. What's your favorite Halo soundtrack? I don't know, like overall soundtrack, like the the consistency of the whole thing. That's a perfect moment. I think mine's too. Yeah. Two's a banger, but I do love how three kind of mixes stuff from Halos two and one. And telling you that. Entirely leadership. Entirely new engine. Entirely new name. Okay, but isn't the new leadership like some, like. Now I'm gonna get in trouble for this. Isn't the new leadership like um, an LGBT activist of some kind? I, don't, I saw the person on Twitter, and I'm saying person because I don't want to misgender him. You can't fucking tell the person's gender anymore these days, anyways. Um, what was I talking about? Yes, new leadership. They fired a couple people at the top because it's easy to kind of have like a scapegoat, like, oh, you fucked up. But all of these devs are still there. The people that made the previous games, I mean, outside of like contractors and stuff. I don't understand what there is to be. And they're showcasing these amazing graphics. Like this is supposed to get people excited. It's, all right, sorry about that. Let's try to get through the rest of this. I don't even know what I was talking about. This is as big of a jump as people do to Bungie. Oh, what does this work? What does it do for him? You know what I mean? Yeah. No, what did you just say? Is a perfect moment for us to start that chapter on that thing. Entirely new dads. Really excited about it, and I think what we just showed 
Entirely leadership, entirely you engine, entirely you engine. Yeah, we just talked about that. This is literally like, this is a, as big of a jump as people did to Bungie or Bungie Bungie as. It's not. You know what I mean? It's not. <laughs> <clears throat> it's not. I don't know why you're so hyped right now. They're just gonna treat OG Halo fans like shit still, anyways. Block them on Twitter. What's most exciting is really unleashing the team to just be creatives, crafting experiences, and not having to be a tech company anymore, frankly. Wow, okay. Wow, okay. Big words out and talking about creatives and empowering creatives. What does that do for you, Chris, and your team? Yeah, well, uh, obviously, uh, Unreal is an uh, incredible tool in its own right. But for us, it's I don't know. Way more than that. It's I'm still firmly in the camp, like, just don't make another game until you game unfuck games. everything. Chris, Project Foundry, something that we just saw in this video. Keep talking. What is it? Why? Well, it's a test bed that we put together so our, our creatives could uh, see what they could do and they were kind of unhindered by using a proprietary game engine and see what they could do in Unreal 5. And what was expected? It's all about the graphics, man. You know, was this something that you guys wanted to... What about the story? Do you know, I guess it's going to be Halo 1, probably. Well, I mean, it was, uh, it was initially an internal... But why? Why redo right. Halo 1? Okay, we don't need better yeah, graphics for that game. I think I saw... We have eyes into the future now. Behind the curtain of what the team's been doing. Now, this looks like the most exciting time in the studio, Pierre. You know, what's the mood like right now in the camp? Um, hopefully, I can transmit some of I think I heard uh, some streamer, I don't pay attention to what these people's names are, but he said something about like going back to Reach, and I'm like, yeah, you can probably tell a lot of stories from Reach. There's a lot of, a lot of different like units of Spartans, ODSTs, all sorts of shit going on there. You could play... Do some stuff there, or maybe just do Halo 1, but from an ODST or Marines perspective. It could be like a full flood game with like maybe one, two, or no Covenant encounters, which could be super interesting. Uh, we could do, I don't know. I don't know how you do a game about the heretic leader. Like going back to the story parts that are good and actually like were coherent, made sense, everything between... Uh, Halo Reach chronologically to Halo 3. Uh, stick in there. There's a ton of stories to be told there. And drop all the didact and... I mean, I guess they did anyways. The librarian. What was in the newest game? Um, the magic bitch that you kill. I don't... I don't... I have no clue what the fuck any of that was in Infinite. Drop the banished. Drop Atriox. Like, the... Dude... I don't want to go on a huge tangent here, but Atriox being hyped up all the time, and then, what, he's dead when we start Halo Infinite after he's like, my name's Atriox, and I'm going to drop you off of this here spaceship. I don't know why I did that accent. Then he watches him go, and he's like, my grapple hook didn't reach. Oh, oh, I'm going to go sleep in space for a little bit. What was the point of all that? Oh, Atriox is so cool. Uh, he's dead. Okay. We'll do Halo Infinite another time. But I want to find... If you, do, if you get anybody who has, like, a good uh, a video talking about how amazing Halo Infinite is, like, I'm talking, like, massive shill, story only, shoot it, recommend it to me, because that would be fun to sit here and talk about. We could make, like, a, like, just a really long reaction to, to all that nonsense. I'd love to do that. We have a the team starting to believe in the process which we established over the last two years. I had a conversation the other day with uh, one of my former bosses and he described the situation as Pierre and the studio is pouring the foundation. Um, that's okay. exactly what we're doing. And now the next step is building on that foundation. It's an amazing, exciting time. But the studio is growing and the team needs uh, to grow because uh, there are some things which we... Bet you can't stick it. You're on. Well, we have multiple Your... projects in development, as we've been saying. <clears throat> as we heard on the video, we're looking for a little bit of everything. Uh, we got job openings right now. We got more to come, but this is... I applied the industry to the... So, yeah, I was saying <clears throat> I applied to uh, Microsoft for 343. I was trying to get a narrative design, and I basically just said, hey, you guys haven't written... I'm, I said it very professionally, but I was like, you guys uh, haven't wrote or uh, written a a good story for any of your Halo games since you guys took over over 10 years ago. So, um, and I know I don't have the uh, qualifications and experience that you guys want for this position, but I'm assuming that you keep hiring people that are qualified for this position and it's not working. So maybe try thinking outside the box and 
basically just said, I've been playing the game for forever. Here's what I've done in my life. And here's what I'm currently doing. They, it seemed like an automated message. But I mean, if you want to jump on that train, I'm not saying don't do it, but there's nothing wrong with applying to a position. Just saying, hey, I know I'm not qualified for this, but I think the people that are qualified are doing terribly. So here's my application. It got denied. Doesn't mean I won't try again. Well, we have multiple projects in development, as we've been saying. As we heard on the video, we're looking for a little bit of everything. Uh, we got job openings right now. We got more to come. But this is kind of us letting the industry know. We changed the recipe, as Pierre said. We're looking for people. Yeah, people are that. that. That's right. We have multiple titles in development. Multiple titles. It's hard for me not to get excited. I am. I feel that. I, I'm not trying to be super cynical. I feel what he's feeling in my head. It's just after getting burned so many times, like, I, if you're watching this and all you care about is Halo, then it's like, okay, maybe I'll keep giving it a chance or whatever. But you get burned by Star Wars, Marvel, Halo. I mean, I'm in a weird transition. If this had happened when I was like 23, 24, I wouldn't give a shit. I would just be out partying and doing stuff. But like, I'm not out drinking and partying and doing stuff with people like that late at night. You know, I go to bed early, wake up early so I can go to work and get my kid or make money for my family and pay for this house and stuff. And so I'm like trying to get my kids into uh, the movies and shows and games that I used to be into. And I'm like, well, the stuff that you guys are coming out with right now kind of suck. So I, I'm in like this weird position where I like care more about it now for the sake of my kids and like, what they're going to be growing up getting and um versus if it was i don't know five to ten years ago i probably wouldn't give a shit i wouldn't be making these videos criticizing this i'm not trying to be hyper cynical i understand why he's excited part of me like right here in my head is excited but i keep squishing that voice I'm saying shut the fuck up don't get hyped about this it's just gonna it's gonna cause you pain again as I even remember, I was pre-kids, pre-married, all of it. I played Halo 4. And I was like, I was shit. Fucking went to the gym. Went, I don't know. You know, I did something else. I didn't care. It wasn't until I revisited that game 10 years later that I made that video. I was like, oh, this game sucks. And I care more about this now. And might you hear more about these questions? Good question, Lai. Uh, well, I'll just give the little classic line. They're ready when they're ready. Uh, you know, we want to let the team have some time to, to kind of keep cooking. Um, I do just want to kind of remind With folks, that, me and pretty much the entire consensus when an Infinite was coming out was, they were like, hey, we need to delay Infinite by a year. It just ain't ready yet. And we're like, you know what? Halo 5 was shit and Halo 4 was shit. So you take your time. Take your time. Put those things together. And give us the give us the product when it's done. But um so when they say oh to BD, I'm like, am I gonna get again? Alright, I'm gonna try to wrap this video up because this is Butters. Butters Leopold. Anyways, I'm gonna try to wrap this video up because my phone keeps telling me I'm out of storage space. So apparently I need to go through and delete a bunch of shit so that I can make these videos here. Which I will. I'll figure it out. I'm not much of a tech guy. Oh, he's freaking out. All right. Anyways, if you want to come back up here, you can, but he doesn't like it when I talk loud. He's kind of a pussy. So, still lots of cool things on the horizon for Halo Infinite. Our next operation, Halloween, is just a few days away. That's got to be a fun Okay, cool, 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 but like... Really oh my god. Gonna We're gonna have some Halo skins in Infinite that you guys can spend money on. Buy Battle Pass. All 200 of you playing. Third person firefight. We're excited to bring a new way to play to Halo Infinite. Love that. Okay, any more laundry? As we bring this chapter to a close and start a new third person firefight. How excited is the team to continue? So that you can see your cool skins. Oh, dude, I hate. I hate where we're at right now. You gotta. Call of Duty, you gotta have the coolest operator. You can't just be this nameless, faceless soldier that is part of the COG. Like, you have to be this specialist, Halo. You gotta have your super cool skin with your, what do they call, armor cores. And you wanna see him in third person running around doing shit, swinging the hammer. It's so dumb, dude. But does it, does Halo, I haven't played Infinite in forever. Does it have like emotes so you do stupid ass dances and shit like that? Just keep a teabagging, man. It's all about the teabag.
just teabag. Oh, in incredibly. Um, Project Boundary was never actually meant to be uh, public facing, but uh, like Brian said, we really wanted to get the community here. The glance of what we're doing. We needed that. We needed that. It's been a really, really oh, busy I time missed it. This. Fuck. This video is boring. The I thought this video was going to be totally different. I apologize. The next one should be better. It's meant to be uh, public facing, but uh, like Brian said, we really wanted to give the community here a bit. Okay. A glance of what we're doing. We needed that. We needed that. It's been a really, really busy I mean, time. What have we got? Oh, we have some stuff coming. Uh, TBD on when it's going to be announced or when it'll be announced that it's going to be out and uh unreal engine 5 everybody unreal engine 5 we got really really good graphics that's what you wanted to hear right our graphics unreal engine 5 like this is all we have so far and we got to see the flood which i mean i'm a little hyped about too but fuck we're super eager to be growing the studio you know that um... they've had Halo longer than Bungie ever did. I mean, they took Halo from nothing to, well, like, the biggest thing ever, a fucking blockbuster of a video game. And they've had it longer, and it's irrelevant as fuck, and here we are. We need to rebrand the studio because, oh, uh, we're making it suck. And, uh, look the information we're getting here. We're gonna get amazing graphics, nothing about story. Or, and if this... I know I keep saying nothing about a story, but if we're really only... If the first thing we're doing is another Halo 1 reboot. I just want to take a moment actually to thank the team back at Halo for really committing to Sir. Uh, that ah. is huge for us. Um, it's certainly ah. indeed. Yeah. Ah. One, one, one second, guys. One second. To, say to the community before we don't see you for another three years. <laughs> yeah, go hide. Still, I'd be the one to find out what an amazing event. How everyone showed up as a four tailor still. This is for me every right. single week. Okay, let's see if we get to him talking. High level engine, Unreal Engine 5, bro. That is actually confirmed now. We've known it for a while, but confirmed confirmed. Uh, Unreal Engine 5, everybody. Don't forget. The 343 name. I don't care what you think about how good or bad Halo has been for the last 10 years. Dude, name... just fuck. Okay, this is what I can't stand about this guy. Is he just won't commit. I, mean, I saw him shitting on them on Twitter after it became safe to do so. He could have been shitting on them for the past 10 years as a big YouTube, as a, as a credible name in the Halo community, but he just fucking fence sits. Yes, you, Hidden Xperia. I like your lore video. I like his shit. All right, I'm sorry. This should be the last time I have to fucking restart here because my phone's being tizmy. I will get it fixed, but I'm going to try to blast through this because I don't want it to happen again. So, yeah, I'm just annoyed. We all know 343 sucks. That's why they're rebranding it. So, just own the opinion. I don't care if you have people in your comment section that are huge fans of everything 343 have done. To be, okay, to be quite frank, their opinions don't matter. 343 has sunk in Halo. So if you've been supporting their stuff and you like their stuff, I mean, you're part of the problem. It's just how it is. I'm not trying to be too mean. I'm sorry if that's what you grew up on because you were just born too late to be a part of the Halo shit. But I mean, blame your parents, not me. Was tarnished, right? That name. There is a large group of people that when they see that name on a box or they see that name in marketing, they're like, nah, not touching it. And rightfully fucking so. Can you blame them, really? Yeah, this see, there. Kind of won't. The entire overall Stop fence sitting, dude. If that name was on the box, people still would have been like, nah, not touching it. Yeah, I didn't buy Infinite because 343 was attached. I did play it on Game Pass. Tried it out. It was awful. Game sucked. I played it once. I tried a couple times to get into the multiplayer. And it just, it was lacking that spark. It was lacking that Halo vibe. It was lacking just being good. <clears throat> I mean... <clears throat> so yeah, I had to, um... We're back now. I left, took the kids outside, had a couple drinks with my neighbor and my wife. So I put the kids to bed. Really funny, my uh, three-year-old just put his head on his pillow. And then he says, you guys are keeping me awake. The light's still on. Everything's still going. It's really funny. But anyways, I'm going to turn this up because I was watching back the first clip to see how the audio balancing was. And I guess it was terrible because you guys can barely hear this. So I apologize for the last, like, however many minutes this thing was. So we're going to finish this with a little bit louder of a television and um, hope for the best here. All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. So, 
he's about to give his closing thoughts on this whole situation. So let's get into it. I'm sure it happens before Taylor still, because it's for me every single year. Okay, you know what? Yeah. You know what? I think we can put it there. Right, okay, very brief thoughts. Three, four, three, that. Um, that. No, they're not. In all likelihood, they are not dead. They're just rebranded, but I've said that like 15 times. Maybe he knows that now. I know this is a little bit older of a video, but guys, come on. How long have you been alive? Two weeks isn't really that long of a time. I'm not like super, super late to the party, but in this world of everything has to happen like right this second. Yeah, okay. And in today's world, I'm very late, but really I'm not that late. I, got, I have responsibilities, okay? I can't make Halo my top priority all the time. That was the rebrand. I've mentioned that in the video before. A rebrand was should have happened a while ago, but I think now is a very good time. Entire different leadership, entire different. De okay, let's just pretend a rebrand isn't really that big of a deal. Like if Boogie two nine eight eight, you know, one of the worst humans on this planet, fucking fat piece of shit, just rebranded himself, he'd still be Boogie. Okay, do you get what I'm saying? Dev maker. Entire different philosophies, entire different engine, and real engine five, bro. That is actually confirmed. Now we've known it for a while, but confirmed, confirmed. An entirely new name. The three four three name. I don't care what you think about how good or bad Halo has been for the last ten years. That oh, name I never said was this. tarnished, right? That name. There was a large. You didn't like it either. You just box, loved... or they see that name in Mark. He didn't like it either. He just loves defense. It. But. Thing, they're like, nah, not touching it. And can you blame them? Really? This was a good move because even with the entire overhaul of the studio, even if that name was on the box, people still would have been like, nah, not touching it. Sorry, it could be the greatest thing since three. sliced bread and I'm not touching it. Now, I tip that. That is a very, very, very smart idea. But let's just real quick go back to some of the stuff that we saw just then. Oh my god. If the internet and this oh, stuff is going to work, the flood stuff, Christ, man. I knew he was going to coom about the flood on. stuff. I mean, oh, I dude, am too. That's really hard. Look! The flood stuff looks so good. I'm seeing a distinct lack of glowing orange stuff as well. That looks straight up Halo 3 to me. Halo 2, Halo 3 style flood. Very bioorganic, none of this bioluminescence. Maybe there's a little bit of bioluminescence here and there, but not crazy stuff like Halo Wars 2 where that's all it was. That looks incredible. Granted, it is just a tech demo. This is not a scene from a game. But I mean, the fact that they've got C.E. Sheev in that Pacific Northwest theme tower bio with a Halo 1 Magnum fighting elite. I okay, it's... I, I know I said a lot of this already, but Halo, Mark V, Master Chief, Halo 1, 117 on his chest. It's, it's a big 343 thing. They're obsessed with that number. They're very fucking obsessed with that number. Just take it off. It doesn't need to be there, okay? Um, these are just images, man, and like small snippets of, of the new graphics doing stuff. It's not really worth getting excited about. I mean, okay, I gotta make my point. So they had the flood. I'm talking to you, but I'm also talking to this guy. They had the flood in the Halo TV show. They had the flood in the Halo TV show. We all know how that turned out. I rest my case. I don't care how good it looks. If it lacks all substance, then what's the point? Then Halo gets no boom. It'll be awesome for a week, and then everybody will move on. Because all of the young people are super TikTok brained, and all the old people like me are like, I just don't give a fuck. You guys make shit games. With terrible stories. That's the big thing. They just can't make a story, and the stories... Hypothetically, if the stories were decent, they're still full of retcons, and uh, they went in a direction that nobody really gave a shit about. Uh, which takes me to another point I want to say real fast. Um, so I was thinking about this. I don't know if somebody said it to me or if I just thought about it. But um, no, no, this has absolutely been said to me. I'm sure I read a comment like, oh, old Halo fans just can't accept change. And I'm just like, bro, about that. Uh, Halo 2, I think, definitionally could be called change from Halo 1, right? W what happens? So in Halo 1, we have a guy who barely barely talks, kicks some ass. A lot of cool shit happened in Halo 1. I'm not gonna downplay it. I fucking love that game. But Halo 2 comes and they're like, hey, you know these things you were killing? Uh, here's, here's this guy. 
and we're gonna make you empathize with him and we're gonna brand him and we're gonna electrocute him and you're gonna be like, oh, I kinda feel bad for this dude. We were killing him by the hundreds in the first game, but now I feel bad for this guy in, this, in the second game. That's called, that is change. It's substantive change. And they actually built up a, like Halo's best character that way and he's fucking mandible alien. You know what I mean? Like, took a lot of balls. And they made Arbiter like cool as shit. Change. Like, so the whole, oh, old Halo fans can't accept change. It's, that's poodoo, or whatever they say in Star Wars. Straight up poodoo. Halo will be made stop confirmed here. We can't, again, we kind of knew that anyway, but that, that I guarantee you right now, the light is going to be the first project that comes out on Unreal 5 as a test bed for them. For them to like, learn Unreal, learn how to... But why do you want that? I mean, are you excited about a Halo 1 remake? Because they already did that. I want a Halo 3 remake because Halo 1 and 2 have already been done and Halo 3, it needs some, uh, we'll say some tightening up in the story because there's a story in there better than anything 343 has made, but it needs some tightening up. Now, I say that, but also I don't want 343 or Halo Studios like fucking touching it. So I'll just keep Halo 3 the way it is. It's really fun on replay with my daughter. Um, I should play, I'm going to play that tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow make it Halo and real, and I mean, dude, if it looks like this, oh, bro oh, brother. I know, it real. looks good. Oh my god, the foot stuff. It looks fucking good. The yeah. Foot stuff. Look, at, look at that detail. I might be flooding my And this is an right old now. TV, too. I shouldn't say that in a YouTube video, but that's gonna get uh, taken. If this was, like, a new TV, like 4K, holy shit, that would look beautiful. It don't mean anything. Very, very wrong, but oh my god. First, we are eating good. I'm gonna call this video here. Um, there's not really much to break down here because it was just tech demo. Oh my god, the Magnum, bro. Look at the Magnum and the animation at the end. Where is it? Okay, he's just cooming over the thing. So yeah, that that is the end of that video. Uh, if this hard cuts out, it's because my phone tismed out again. But if not, um, yeah. Expect a couple more videos like this, and not a, a few more. I don't want them all to be hidden Xperia stuff, but he's got a couple videos I wanted to check out, and I'm gonna, I am gonna, wanna do it this way. I'll try to intersperse other people's stuff in there, because there's a couple other videos by other people I wanna look at, but um, as a longtime fan of his, and seeing him act like this, I don't even know where I'm going. I drank a little too much. But yeah, not excited. Uh, we'll, we'll catch you guys next time.